around, get it moving. Sean, I've known you a long time. Easy E's knowing you a long time. So let's do it right. Your boy's done, forget about it. We brought you along in this business. You're on. Lay down right now and let's go home. Let's go out and get a couple brewskis. That ain't gonna happen. He's not gonna lay down. Sean Stevens, you will not lay down. Come on. You're not gonna be us. Sean Stevens will not lay down. Take him on yourself. Fight him yourself, Stunning. Hey, T, T, C, Eddie. I've known you guys a long time, like you said. You guys taught me a lot. You should know. Ringside Entertainment's my house. I'm not lying down. I'm a fighting champion. Hold on a second. You're not a fighting champion. I'm no rip rubber pant. Now, if I have to go to the back and get a pillow and a blanket, you are going to lie down in this ring. You people are going to like it. No way. No way it's going to happen. He's, I, can't believe, I can't believe he's doing this. No, no. Change his mind. A true champion. The champ Scott Osborne is here. Apparently he's gonna take Quest's place here. Look stunning all alone in there. Tell him, stunning. Get the get the fresh man in there. Well, the chair pulled back his hand. Oh, what happened here? The chair. Oh, oh. give him the Sicilian salute, folks. He's had it with him. That friendship is terminated. The the chair the chip walked away. Oh, T.J. Anderson orchestrating this whole thing. The champion walked. The champion walked away from him. I don't oh, he continues to fight. Stunning turn of events here, no pun intended. The hell, oh, high elevation of the back body drop. The heavyweight champion has walked has walked away from stunning Sean Stevens. Come on, stunning, let him have it. Oh, waited too long. You fans know if that was the fix, I would have let him have it. The, the champ here is, 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 is in dire trouble. No! Cover! No! 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 Over. He got him! The gold is going. We have new tag team champions. We have new tag team champions. The champion is apparently looks like he's gonna join Team Elite. I can't believe this. I told you. I don't Never believe this. Ever be the ringside entertainment champion, did not. You used this man to try to get his title. You used him. Because you're a selfish, low-life scumbag. Show him, champ. The champ now, Scott Osborne. He's pounding on a, a, a stunning Sean Stevens here. Don't you sneaking people I had a surprise for you? Oh, he's working them over big time in the ring. This is unbelievable. The champion has turned. I'll tell you, TJ Anderson has made some big coups tonight. The champion has turned here. Oh, 
Oh, he's driving the knee into him. I'd say he's out. He's out in the middle of the ring. Stunning's in big trouble. The champ will not let up. The champ. Oh, he's yeah. trying to break his neck. We need some help out here. Scott Osborne has turned. He's turned to Joy Tabley. This is unbelievable. Hello again, wrestling fans, and welcome to another edition of Ringside Entertainment. I am your host, the precious one, Precious Paul. Fans, as you just saw in the film clip, uh, that was our main event that was held on Saturday, February 10th, down at the Rec Center. And uh, as you can tell, fans, it was a it was a wild ending. Uh, it was a shocking a shocking turn of events, as uh, as you saw that our our champion. Uh, Scott Osborne uh, walked away from stunning Sean Stevens and has apparently joined Team Elite. And, and it just, uh, it, it's just amazing uh, at that turn of events. Uh, the, the fans at, at, at attendance were stunned, uh, as uh, yours truly was. Uh, again, the film clip showed uh, there was a little uh, misunderstanding between stunning Sean and Scott Osborne, uh, that stunning uh, hit Scott with a, a forearm. Uh, it was purely by mistake. Uh, apparently, uh, the champ didn't like that. And as you saw, when uh, stunning went to tag, uh, Scott walked away. Now, fans, you know, uh, ever since uh, stunning Sean uh, was thrown out of, of, uh, of Team Elite, uh, all the things that he said against RSC and, and uh, the city of Everett and the fans, that, that nobody came to his aid except, except Scott Osborne. Uh, you know, any time that uh, Team Elite members uh, were beating up uh, Stunning Sean, again, that Scott Osborne came to his defense. Uh, they, when they teamed up together, they became the number one contenders for, for the tag team gold. You know, and, and, and uh, again, uh, for Scott Osborne, the champ, to turn like that, it, it just, there's got to be more to this than uh, what's shown on, on, on the film. Unfortunately, or fortunately, in my opinion, in, in my case, that the, the co-owner is not here again. He's probably out gloating somewhere. Uh, T.J. Anderson, uh, nowhere to be found. Uh, so he's happy at that turn of events, I'm sure. Uh, the rest of Team Elite... Uh, they're out, I'm sure, partying somewhere. Uh, Stunning Sean Stevens, as you saw, uh, he had to be carried out from the ring. Uh, he was knocked out cold with, by those, those knee drops uh, from, from the champ. So uh, we do not have an update on his condition at, at this time. Uh, this is, this, the show in, in a whole, uh, is it was called Fallout, and there was a lot of Fallout fans, believe me. And uh, we will go over the, uh, some other results later on in the show. But I'm going to continue to talk about this match because this is what the fans were, were, were buzzing about. Uh, Scott Osborne, uh, the people's champ. Uh, everybody loved him. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it didn't make any sense that, uh, that he, he left to join Team Elite. Uh, during that clip, you saw uh, the owner, T.J. Anderson, uh, he, he, he talked to Scott Osborne on, on, on the side, and, and of course that raised a few eyebrows, but really didn't think much about it. Uh, obviously, it meant a lot because, uh, again, with, with uh, the champ uh, leaving uh, the, the good graces of the fans and Everett to join Team Elite. Now, Team Elite, at one time, uh, I mean, they had, they had lost the heavyweight belt because uh, Stunning Sean had, had the belt when he was not part of Team Elite, and of course then Scott Osborne became champion. The, the Team Elite Tag Team Champions, the former Tag Team Champions, the Phoenix and the Reaper, they lost their belts to, uh, to Stunny Sean Stevens. And my good friend Quest, in fact I will talk about that later and show you a film clip of why actually the, the champ, uh, Scott Osborne, was with Stunning instead of Quest. Uh, it just, it's just mind-boggling that Team Elite was down low. They were down, scraping the bottom. I mean, they had, they had a, a Rookie of the Year candidate, Justin Case, 
Uh, he started out like a like a, a house of fire. He's lost some matches in a row. Uh, unfortunately, they did win. I have to say they did win the lightweight uh, championship, and Kim and Lee played. Uh, started to bring him back on, on course by giving him a belt. And now, uh, you know, now with the, the, the tag team champions, the new tag team champions, uh, Sabotage, uh, DC Dillinger, and Die Hard uh, Eddie Edwards, uh, they, they were not part of Team Elite, but uh, early in the show, uh, the commissioner did come out and actually talk to uh, Sabotage and try to get them to join. So uh, again, there could be something uh, more involved in, in that also. So uh, recap it again, fans. I, I, I'm going to hash this again. It, it just, uh, it's an amazing turn of events. Uh, the, the champion uh, walking away uh, from his fans, from his tag team partner, and actually from uh, and, lo and losing a, a tag a, a tag strap, uh, you know. And uh, as the weeks come on, uh, we will try to get the champ on here. I know he didn't, he didn't speak much, but uh, I'm sure his mouthpiece, the co-owner T.J. Anderson, will try to get him back uh, to get uh, his in, his his input and, and why and and so forth. Uh, why all this happened? Uh, but now, as I said earlier, fans. Uh, I want to show you a film clip of why the, uh, the champ, Scott Osborne, was teaming up with Stunning Sean because uh, Quest was the tag team champion with Stunning Sean, but something happened early in the show, so now we'll, we'll go to that film clip now, and when we come back, we'll, we'll discuss that. happened to uh, Quest as he was viciously attacked by Team Elite. In, in my opinion, this was a this was a a, a set uh, a set strategy to take out Quest, so that the champion Scott Osborne would team up with Stunning Sean Stevens, and, and then you saw what uh, what happened with uh, the champion uh, turning to join Team Elite. Now, as of as of now, uh, Quest uh, is still in the hospital. As you saw the, the chair shots that he took to his ribs, uh, he's got, uh, I believe, at least three, I was told, at least three cracked ribs, uh, and his shoulder uh, was popped out, uh, so he's going to be uh, off for a while. Uh, obviously, he had, Quest had also stated that he was going to retire uh, anyway, uh, so uh, now I'm sure now this uh, obviously speeded everything up. Uh, with, with that injury. Uh, so again, fans, along with that injury, as I stated earlier, uh, Stanley Sean Stevens, uh, he was uh, carried out. Uh, he was knocked unconscious by, by Scott Osborne. Uh, another, another match that we had earlier on that, on that card, we had uh, another wrestler went to the hospital with a, a slight concussion as he took a couple of uh, chair shots. Uh, and so he had a, he had a concussion. So that show fans uh, again uh, fallout was was uh, 
was a, 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 uh, a wild show. It started off our new year here in RSC. Uh, it, it, hopefully fans, uh, you enjoyed that show. And uh, as, as the dates uh, come on during the year, uh, each show will be better and better. In fact, our next show, fans, uh, is going to be uh, March 3rd in Saugus. Uh, there'll be more information in, in the paper and at our next TV taping here. Uh, the next show in Everett uh, is on uh, April the 7th, uh, April Aggression, and that will be down at, at the rec center. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, repercussions uh, in that show, considering what happened here on, on the February fallout show. Uh, fans, uh, I'm going to go over a few of the results uh, of some of the, uh, of the matches that we had. Uh, Len Oddity uh, defeated the Creeper. As you know, fans, the Creeper is a, is a mass wrestler who we do not know much about, but apparently he has a lot of history uh, with uh, our, another mass wrestler, Enigma. In uh, an old fashioned fans dog collar match, if you didn't see that one, fans, uh, we will show uh, tape uh, of that match in the weeks to come. The Vachons uh, defeated the Hellraisers. And fans, uh, very simply, a, a dog collar match. All four wrestlers uh, have a dog collar around their neck with a, a, a 10 foot chain. And fans, that was a, uh, a, uh, a wild match uh, also. Uh, we had a ladies match. I returned here at Everett uh, for the first time in, in, in a, a long time. And uh, Deanna DeVille uh, defeated uh, Amber, and that was a, a, a nice ladies' match. We also had a, a lightweight championship match. It was a three-way match where our champion, I have to use the word champion, from the Team Elite came in replay. Uh, he retained his, he retained his uh, title uh, by defeating uh, Enigma and Zach Mason in that match. Uh, yeah, we also, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. just when I thought I'd get through the whole show without anybody from Team Elite here. Uh -huh. Oh, what's up, Scott? Oh, yeah. No, we just watched. Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, this is... Well, maybe he left. That was Kim and Lee play. He's on the phone, obviously, talking to the owner, TJ Anderson, and the champion, Scott Osborne. They must be out partying someplace. And, yeah, only the best for the champs. Yeah, oh yeah. You know it. Yeah, well, no. We were trying to do a show. If you're going to be sitting down, you got to be on the phone all day. Yeah. Hold on. Well, I mean, yeah. important conversation going on right here with the champ, and, and I also got TJ on there, so I'll be with you in a second. Boy, big deal. So fans, uh, then I'll continue while while Kim and Replay decide to talk to the commissioner and, and, and the champion. Uh, the tag, new tag team champions, Sabotage, uh, DC Dillinger, and uh, Eddie Edwards. Uh, earlier fans during that during the, the show, uh, DC Dillinger and Eddie Edwards called out stunning Sean Stevens. Uh, because time. well the beginning of this okay. all right I'll tell you okay I'll tell you what I'm saying all right well show can begin Cameron is here in a nice swivel chair I'm like your chair that doesn't move at all I like my mine chair. can recline in it comfortable well, only the best for the champ I guess I have to welcome you to the show and yeah and welcome me uh, you are still the the lightweight champion. Yep. You defeated Zach Mason yes, in Enigma in a, in a three-way I mean, match. Which I, I he has to thank me for you know winning him so much money this weekend. It's a, I mean, the guy's got to be rolling it. I know he put a lot of money on that match. So yeah, the fixer, yeah, the fixer's not here. Also, fans. Uh, so uh, well, don't don't let me interrupt you. I, I heard you getting into some of my favorite parts of what happened at the last show. So continue. Well, I, as the fans just saw, the the dastardly attack dastardly. by Team Elite, uh, attacking Quest when he come out. I mean, you got involved as usual. Yeah. Just in case. The Phoenix, and of course our illustrious, 
a illustrious owner. Yeah, the man. I mean, you decided to take out Quest. Yeah, he had it coming to him. He had it coming to him. A four-on-one attack. I could have done it myself. <laughs> I could have done it by myself. But, you know, it, it, it just, it's not like me to hog all the glory for myself. You know, it's not like me to uh, take all the fun for myself. I knew that Phoenix would enjoy it. I knew that Justin would enjoy it. You know, TJ, TJ knows what he's doing. He put the right guys on the job. We got the job done. It took four years to take out uh, Quest, who really is not a, a typical wrestler. I, I mean, you heard the damage that, that, I, that, I, that I stated. That he's got three cracked ribs. Obviously, hey, you know what, popped out. You know what? Uh, this, this past Monday, uh, I saw Wrestling Center on uh, ECTV3, uh, the, the, the stupid Malden show that, that Quest has been hosting for years, and, uh, and I saw the footage that was played on there and, and starting crying about how, you know, earlier in the night, his buddy, one of his buddies gets taken out by Team Elite, and then later on in the night, his, his own, now his only friend in the world, Scott Osborne, turns on him and... Shocked the world. Shocked everybody. That, Shocked them all. Daddy, Daddy did. Uh, of course, you guys, I'm sure, had this all planned out as, as, as usual. So, well, you, I mean, that, that we took out Quest. That was that was step number one. Step number two. We knew Stunning would, would obviously ask Osborne. I mean, who else is he gonna ask? Who else is he gonna ask? You know, he's he's friends with the two guys that are now the champions. Or he was friends with them. I mean. Stunning just has, has no luck. No luck. I have a feeling that this is the way it's going to go for Stunning for the year 2007. And I have a feeling that this is the way it's going to go for Team Elite in the year 2007. Well, I mean, since you mentioned that, of course, your match, uh, which, again, we'll show uh, at a later date, uh, there was a little, shall we say, outside interference by... What, Creeper some coming of, in again? Creeper of, coming in and, inter and interrupting and uh, distracting a neg bot. I mean, the kid's like, what does he have, ADD? He can't concentrate on a match? I mean, some guy comes out wearing a mask and he's like, ooh, glittery colors, you know, Spider-Man mask. And he gets distracted. And then I hit Zach Mason. You saw me fly first class. One, two, three. I got the pin. I kept the gold. I, what, I, what's the, what's, aren't you leaving out, like, a part where you, it's part of your camera crew? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. You, know, you guys never know what I'm talking about. No idea what you're talking about. Man, you guys, you guys see things just one way. I mean, uh, because the guy gets up on the apron to get a better shot uh, of the match, you automatically you gotta find some way that I cheated to win. It's just it's ridiculous, you know. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Well, as as the film will show, is it was one thing if you'd be on, t on top of the ring apron. It's another thing to wind up. And clock somebody over the head. I, I, you, I don't know what you're seeing here, Francis. Right. I think you right. gotta get glasses or or get a better can a better a better angle with your, your announce table. Maybe ask them if they can move it for you to another side of the ring, because you're clearly too far away. Either that or you're just you know the old age is getting to you and you're losing your vision or something. I don't know. Right. Maybe you gotta put those glasses on over there. I don't know. Would, I don't would, know what it is. Would you care to tell the fans actually where, where the where the co-owner is, or is that is that a secret? Is he, I mean, well, I actually just got off the phone with him and the champ, and I believe they're somewhere in the Bahamas right now. A lucky, uh, you know. So he's he's, he's gloating. Obviously, he's still gloating over this over this. Coup. Not gloating, celebrating. I mean, it, you you're always making everything sound bad when it comes to Team Elite. You know. Uh, I, rem I, I have since watched my, my triple threat match, and at the beginning of the match, I come out, I'm standing up on the, on the ring ropes, you know, uh, letting the fans see my glorious title that they will never ever be able to own, and uh, Zach Mason runs up and attacks me from behind, and there you are, quick as lightning, saying, oh, great move by Zach Mason, attacking the guy from behind, when that's, that's no way for a, a fan favorite to act. You know, that's more of a, as you would say, Typical team elite move attacking somebody from behind and it comes from Zach Mason. You had nothing but good things to say about the kid though. Well, we'll see that 
when it's showed in the future. Well, know? when when it's a, when we see when it's a three way match and every man from sub, you, you do have to take advantage of certain situations. Yeah, and if I and if I don't say so myself, I did pretty good in that match considering the fact that Zach Mason and Enigma are buddy buddies and didn't touch each other, didn't touch each other once. The the double pinning me, they're you know taking turns on hitting me with their finishers. And I just kept kicking out, kicking out, kicking out, one after another. Well, I, I, mean, I will give you credit. I mean, uh, Thank they, you. They, I, Thank I mean, you. You, you are, you, you are a good champion, or can be a good champion, if you don't have to rely on all this outside uh, stuff. But yeah, you did yeah. take a beating in that match. I, 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 I will call that. And, and the, the, the fact of the matter is that TJ came to me uh, earlier in the night and said, which one of these two guys do you want to fight? And I said, you know what, TJ? Bring them both on. I'll take them both on. Well, that is a sign of a true again. That is a sign of a true champion. I I will call it the way I saw it. The de the, and you did. Uh, you, you you took a you, you took a beating from, from both of them. They they did team up on you, which is the way you were supposed to do. Try to beat the champion any way you can. And you came out on top uh, with a, a little help, a little help at the end. But uh, you you did come out on top. And, and it did I did what was I did what was necessary to get the job done. And I got it done, as you can see. Yes, you As you can see. Yeah, you did get it done with just a little, just a little help. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I mean, can't really? you just have a match and and, and have it just a, 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 a you know, no outside the fans? Don't you have it inside of you that you can, that you can do that? Yeah, I did it at the. I did it when I won this won this title. There was no outside interference. I did it at the. La I did it at the last show. I don't even know what you're talking about. I. I so you must have, that must be the match with the feet one. Though. Well, no, nah, maybe that was the match before. No, no, uh, yeah. Right. Everything you do is always up on the up and up, right? Sure. Sure is. We're getting dis you're getting distracted here, okay? No, I was just. You were, I mean, you were talking about something, okay? You were talking about something. Yeah, well, Quest was taken out by 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 team, uh, yeah, all right, by, 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 by yeah. team, yeah, by, yeah. by team elite. Team elite, and, and he's got three three cracked ribs. He's yep. got a, a separated shoulder. Yep. And uh, he's going to be out, uh, even though he, uh, it's a little fancy. And, he's going to retire anyway. And you asked me why? Why this happened? Why? why we took out Quest. He's not even a wrestler. He's not... Do you remember what, what we talked about the last time I was on the show? No, refresh my memory, because you talked about a lot, a lot of stuff last time. Okay, well, if you remember the last show of 2006, my manager, the guy that comes out with me that isn't a wrestler, was physically assaulted by Apocalypse, the man who was managed by Quest. It's all kind of sinking in now. This is all kind of making well, that sense. Well, last show of December, of course, the owner came out here and he was drunk as a skunk. If you were, let's call it like like we like we like we saw it there. Yeah. He came on here and yeah. he was loaded. Yeah. That's your boss. That's yeah. our that's our boss. Yeah. The company. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, he didn't he did present himself in a, in a in a good way, did he? No, he did. Well, the thing is that TJ can do whatever he wants in the show. It's his show. He can come on here. Uh. Uh, high as a kite or as drunk as a skunk. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's his show. He can do whatever he wants. Well, that's well, that's that's what he did, and then that was a, a show that was. But that's I not like even. To I was talking about my manager, Mr. B, the man with the nicest suits in the business, and who's now still who's still in the hospital, who's still in a coma. I mean, forget about Quest. Forget about Quest and his three cracked ribs. He's got more coming to him if he thinks that that's all he's got. Three cracked ribs. I mean, my guy's in a coma. Yeah, right I, I, I did mean to ask you about Mr. V, and since you, since you already told the fans about him anyway, that he got he got involved and he did get uh, he did get hurt. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't realize he was that uh, that, that uh, hurt that much. But, yeah, he uh, is. He's he's still in a, a very uh, good amount of pain. And I had to go. Vi I visited him the night uh, before last. I mean, before the last show. I, I visited him. I went to the hospital and I wanted to get a good look at him, just to remind me of what went on. And I kept my distance from Apocalypse that whole night. I, I think you've noticed that since I've been in ringside, that I've been had a problem with Apocalypse. Avoiding. Maybe no, I've had a problem with him, and I've been. I've done nothing but you know. Uh, avoid. I mean. I, Avoid him. I mean, a guy, I, I've been in the ring with him more times than anybody else in the in ringside. Uh, I'm not afraid of Apocalypse. But the last show, I needed to keep my distance from him because I don't want to get arrested. I don't want to make it serious, you know. Uh, 
I'm a, I'm a fighter. I, I, I'm a fighting champion, as you can see. And uh, I don't want to bring a bad name to Ringside Entertainment or to Team Elite. So I, I kept my distance from Apocalypse. But I sent a message through Quest. That's what that was. It was a message. Well, you see fans as... as I sent a message anyways. You see fans as, as uh, obviously, what has shown in, 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 uh, on the shows, and that uh, wrestlers do get hurt, whether they are, whether they are wrestlers or whether or not they are just managers. Uh, it is a physical, physical sport, and if you're not prepared, if you're not in shape, fans, you will get hurt. It's true. And obviously, you said manager, you know, his, his manager. Announcer. You know, if he, I mean, we've had, we have announcers that, that, that have gotten hurt, uh, you know, so. I'm surprised you, a, you've, you've been, you know, skiing on thin ice for the past couple months. I'm surprised nothing's ever happened to you at these past, past couple shows. Well, I'm sure you, you guys must have a plan down the road. I'm sure, you know, TJ Anderson, but uh, hopefully. Uh, no, I don't think you're on the, I don't think you're on the hit list anytime soon. Soon, right. But it could happen, fans. Hopefully, oh, yeah, like, hope, like hopefully that. You won't. I mean, you know, the precious true. one is, uh. You know, doesn't have to be touched. Yeah, it's fragile. Now, speaking of Apocalypse, now Apocalypse fans, uh, he went off at our last show. He had a he had a handicap match. Uh, yeah, and, and my nice. I mean, I just want to say that I feel bad for just in case uh, being involved in that handicap match. I mean, I you saw we took out Quest earlier in the night. First thing in the night we did, we took out Quest. And I took off with that cane, with that staff, that has some, I don't, I haven't figured it out yet, it has some kind of power over Apocalypse or something. Well, he went mad later on in the night, and uh, Justin happened to be involved in that, one of my, one of my best friends in ringside, so. That was a, uh, that match was, uh, was uh, thrown out as uh, Apocalypse, uh, he went, uh, he went ballistic on Justin Case, on Eric Ego, two referees were, were, were knocked out, yep. uh, Apocalypse was just, uh, he's a dangerous himself. man. He's a da I mean, he's attacking referees. He's attacking referees. Well, that staff, that and then, said, and then he yes. drags off. He drags off Eric Ego. Uh, I was getting almost getting flashbacks to, to you know, d December when I was dragged off with with my manager. I mean, he drags off Eric Ego and and it's in, and actually, Fabian, we have not heard from Eric Ego since that time either. Yeah. So he's lucky that Eric Ego has not been heard from. I mean, Apocalypse obviously hasn't been seen. That staff uh, that could have some some wheels, some power. I still in it, have it. That's, it's, it's, that's gone. No, I still, have, have, I still have it. I brought that. I mean, I'm not. You kidding me? I'm not trying to let that fall into the wrong hands. You kidding me? So you know, if you have it, it's in the wrong hands. <laughs> no, that I belongs, have it. That it's belongs in the right to hands. the Apoc and belongs to Quest, the manager. Well, Quest is never going to see that again. And if I see Quest around ringside. He's gonna get more of what he got at that show. Well, I think what you should do is the right thing. Is that uh, get that get that staff? If you want to give it to Quest, you give it to me, and I'll be glad to give it to Quest. Well, why would I do that? Why would I give it to you? Because it doesn't belong to you. That's it's very simple. It doesn't belong to you. Uh, 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 possession is nine tenths of the law, or something like that. I oh I ha I have it in my possession. It's mine. I have it. It's mine. Find his keepers. You know the rule. So then you, you, you're asking then that, that APOC might come and come looking for you. Yeah, either that or he might start working for me. You never know. I, I haven't figured out, like I said, I haven't figured out how that cane works yet. I, I mean, the weekends have been, uh, I've had some long nights trying to figure out what that cane does. Believe me. Well, a APOC uh, fans. Are... I, all the, all, for all I know, as I'm sitting there trying to figure out this cane, and, and APOC's off, you know, down the street beating the hell out of some old lady or some hobo on the side of the road, just grabbing anybody random and just tearing them apart. I don't know. I mean, uh, but but Quest, Quest, the guy that's not a wrestler, the guy that has no ability in the ring, somehow had control over Apocalypse with that cane. It, it had to have been that cane. Because it can't, I mean, look, at, look at Quest. He's got the, the geeky sunglasses on. He's got the stupid hat. He's got the boa. He looks like a mixture between, I don't know, Cat in the Hat and Ric Flair. It's like... Ric Flair, don't, don't, don't insult the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. I know, I'm sorry. Right. You're right. Don't right. look like Nature Boy. Let's, let's get right. it straight here. Right. I'm, I'm your Nature Boy. If you want to pick on somebody... A fat, overweight... Uh, nature Boy. 
I mean, well, I'll I mean, say that. Nature Boy is up there in age, though. I mean, the guy is like 50, 70 years old. I know. He's still wrestling. I mean, he you know, really should just. Well, I love him. Retire. I mean, 50, 70 years old, and he's, and he, and he, and he's still wrestling. He's, so, yeah, he's, you, know, he's, you know, he's he's a man, you know. Yeah. But to get back to Apox, now, I, I called him when he left when he left the, the ring that night. I, his eyes, I mean, he did, he's got those dark black eyes. But let me tell you, I just never, I, I saw just like hell in those eyes. I mean, he was just out there, fans. And, uh, you know, Apoc, uh, he, he doesn't have his manager with him now, and he, he, he's, he's, he's out there somewhere, and uh, if, if you run into him, fans, give him some leeway, because I don't think now he's playing with a full deck. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I, I don't think he ever was, I mean, but I, I, I just, I hope I don't happen to, happen to run into him on, this, you know, on the street or something, because I won't give him any leeway. That, that's just the fact, but well, I think we're getting a wrap up here from, yeah. the, from our cameraman. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna take my leave. Are you, are you leaving? Yeah. Oh, good. I'll let the show without you then. Oh, you can leave. Go ahead. No, I think I'll stay. No. Oh. Wrap. Right. We'll wrap it up together. All right. Well, first we should, before I uh, wrap this up here, I do want to give a shout out uh, to a couple. We have a couple of fans here in the audience today with us, and uh, a nice uh, hello to Simon and Jonathan that, that are with us here today. Yeah. Yeah. So, fans. I know you don't like fans, but they're here, and they're here, they're here to see me, so I want to say hello to Simon and Jonathan. So there. Okay, fans, don't forget, our next show, fans, will be uh, March 3rd in Saugus. Uh, Showtime will be 7 o'clock. Doors open at 6 o'clock at the Saugus High School. Uh, and our show at the Rec Center is uh, April 7th, and more information will be you know, coming forward uh, when we do our next TV taping here. So uh, stay tuned in for more information on that. Yeah, come see me. Defend this title again, like I will for the next couple of years. So on behalf of my new co -host. Co my new co-host, apparently. Yeah, I deserve. Yeah, I want a graphic. I want a graphic. New co-host, Cameron Replay. I want a graphic right now. Come on, come on. Was a graphic. I'm not gonna listen to you. Was a graphic. Come on. I mean, so, I've, I've been showing up here now. The yes. Did it say Cameron replay on it? Well, if you get sunglasses, I bet you can meet it. So, fans. It should say host. On it behalf, be co host. On behalf of my co host, the lightweight champion, Cameron Replay, this is Precious Paul, fans. Until next time, good night.